everyone welcome back to my channel so today i'm gonna be doing a pride inspired rainbow eye look for you today i've seen a lot of inspiration on pinterest that sort of got me inspired to do this tutorial i'm sure a lot of other people have done this tutorial already but i wanted to like put my own spin on things and make it my own so that's what i'm doing today and of course june is pride month so i thought no better time to do a pride themed tutorial so without further ado let's get into it i've done all my base makeup so now i'm literally just like focusing on the eyes so the first product that i'm going to use for this tutorial is the urban decay eyeshadow primer potion this is amazing just to sort of make a base for your eyeshadow and just create something that is spectacular on the eyes. So I'm just going to just squeeze a little bit out the tube and just dab it on my eyelids. Basically the less you have the better for this. Just sort of like this, just sort of a very minuscule amount for each eyelid and just gently moisturise it into the eyelid. Sorry, I've just got like something on my face and it's annoying at me, so I apologise. <laughs> After that, I'm going to take the Urban Decay Naked Palette, which is a staple of mine personally. And it's basically a favourite that I use on most of my makeup tutorials. If you look back at my makeup tutorials from like weeks ago, you'll see that this is very much one of my favourite palettes of all time, even though it is quite an old palette now, I believe. I think it's like a few years old. But anyway. I don't care about that shit. So, <laughs> so yeah, this is an old palette, but I still love it to death. And I pretty much wear it every time I wear makeup, which is probably maybe two to three times a week, depending on what I'm doing. Cause obviously I work at home a lot, so I don't really need to wear makeup as much. But anyway, I'm rambling. <laughs> so from the Naked palette, I'm gonna take the shade Virgin, which is, It's basically this like sort of whitey shade and I'm just going to take that and just dabble it all over my eyelids using the Real Techniques BO4 brush which is a lovely puffy shadow brush which looks like this. I might actually come a bit closer for you guys so you can see exactly what I'm doing up close. I'm having a bit of trouble focusing so I apologise. <laughs> so I'm literally just going to double that all over eyelids just to sort of create like quite a nice base and I think it will help the eyeshadow stay for longer as well which is something which is so important with colored eyeshadows so I'm going to be using the Morphe Picasso palette to get started on this look which I'm so so excited about this is probably one of my favorite palettes ever like the colors are so bright and insane and it's just perfect for this tutorial so I thought why not go ahead and use them so I'm gonna start off with this purple shade here just sort of on the lid going up to the crease probably about three quarters of the way on both sides okay so here are my beautiful eyes <laughs> and i'm just going to take the purple shade using basically the same brush that i've used this one this little one here i'm just going to sort of go about here onwards and just sort of dust it along the eyelid both sides I am going to use the Real Techniques shading brush which looks like this and I'm just going to sort of put a little bit of the red shade which looks like that one and I'm just going to dust it sort of this sort of area and just like blend it out as well just so the colours merge a little bit more. Any sort of like little shadow brush you can get is perfect for this. I'm just using a little Cargo Cosmetics one, which is a double-ended one, which has got like a angled sort of brush on this side. Use for brows usually, and then a little brush at the end. And this is the one I'm using for the next one because you have to be so bloody delicate with this. That's just going to go wrong for you. I'm just going to use this little thing here, 
and I am gonna be doing yellow on the inner corner which is quite cool and for this I'm still using the Morphe Picasso palette by the way <laughs> I'm using this, like yellow shade up here and I'm just gonna dabble this on the inner corners of my eye on both sides obviously I'm literally just gonna align the bottom lashes with a nice blue colour. So to do that, I'm gonna use my brush from the Urban Decay Makeup Palette. I don't know why I'm spraying, I don't know, I don't. This is the brush from the Urban Decay Naked Palette, which is a double-ended brush, which has a smaller sort of rounded brush and then more of like an eyeshadow brush. I'm gonna use this little one here just to go under my eyes. It's like perfect. And for this, I'm going to use this blue shade here, which is ideal just to go under the eyes to make this look complete. So now I'm just going to blend it out because it does need some serious blending. It is pretty crazy right now, I'm not going to lie, it is crazy. I'm just going to blend this out a little bit with my fluffy brush. Okay, so I've blended out the eye makeup. I really, really love this look. It's so, so cool. So just to finish things off nicely, I am just gonna add a little bit of mascara. This is the Max Factor Voluptuous False Lash Effect Mascara in black. Because it will just make the eyes stand out even more, which is what we need. literally the expressions I make when I'm doing my mascara I've got my mouth wide open looks ominous but it's not I promise <laughs> just got like a massive cluster of air in my mouth I am not a makeup artist <laughs> now I'm just gonna finish things off with a lip color so the color that I'm using just to finish off this sorry there's like dog cries at my window and people chatting which is so inconvenient but anyway <laughs> so the lip color I'm using is the New Look Super Matte Liquid Lip in the shade Dark Rose, which is beautiful. So that is the lip colour, it's so beautiful and it matches perfectly actually the eyeshadow, which is what I wanted. I just need to literally do my setting spray and I'm finito, which is the of course the Urban Decay All Night setting spray. I actually had to get a new bottle recently because I literally was getting so fed up with the solution not coming out and after so many tries it gets so fed up yeah so i bought a new bottle and it's so good just to have like a fresh bottle it's like the best thing in the world and i got a deal i think i got like one pound off or something it was like crazy anyway i'm just gonna put this all over my face just to set my makeup So this is my finished look. I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments, what you thought about it, if you liked it, if you didn't, that's cool with me. I really love this look. It's so, so cool. It's very colourful, which is very me. I think I'd literally like wear this out, you know, like just like going out out the town, you know, that sort of thing. I think I would literally wear this. <laughs> if you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up because it would really help me out and leave me a comment maybe if you love this video or what sort of makeup tutorials you'd like to see from me next that would be very very helpful i'm very much on the makeup bandwagon as you can tell recently a lot of my posts have been beauty related rather than fashion but i can now safely say that we are moving or i am moving out of my parents house in the next couple of weeks so i'll have all my clothes back i can do lip books i can do out for the days i can do all that good stuff so the fashion videos are coming back for sure if you love my videos and you'd love to see more of me please remember to subscribe to my channel because i make a new video every week that is uploaded on saturdays at 9am so be there or be square and if you're really serious about my videos please remember to hit the bell so you're uploaded you're uploaded <laughs> you're notified every time i upload because YouTube is shit. <laughs> I am going to see Ed Sheeran in a couple of days, so I'm really hoping to do a vlog of that for you guys. 
which is the awkward thing is because like I've never vlogged in front of my mum and me and my mum are going to see Ed Sheeran so it's going to be interesting to say the least to vlog it but I'm really really hoping to do a vlog just for the memory of like going to concerts and just sort of having the experience of the day just online just so I can watch it whenever I just find that so so cool yeah, that is what I'm hoping to do on Friday I'm gonna film that all for you guys and show you my experience at the Ed Sheeran concert which I'm so so excited about I cannot even begin to tell you I had a sneaky look at the set list that he might be playing in Cardiff and I was like <gasps> like there's so many of his good songs that he's playing and i'm so so stoked so yeah keep an eye out for that next saturday thank you for watching and i will see you next week guys bye